Chagit Shachaf, it's a pleasure to have both of you here with us. Thank you. Welcome to FIDF Live. Corporal Shachaf, tell us a little bit about your job in the Home Front Command. Okay, so my job is two things. First of all, we have the Home Front Command website. Uh, the second thing that I do uh, is to answer uh, Israel citizens on uh, Picudao's face Facebook Messenger. The whole thing is just to um, give the citizens the guidelines to the emergency, emergency um, in the best way that they can get, uh, and the easy way. I love that part of your job is to be on Facebook. It's like <laughs> a very unique job I, in the I'm idea. I'm doing Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, wow. Telegram, WhatsApp, everything that's... Every young person in the world must yeah. want that job for their <laughs> military assignment. Uh, Major Chagit, you joined the IDF in, I think, 1993. Yeah. And you've now served 23 years uh, as a human resources officer, but now you're a deputy commander uh, of the IDF Home Front Command's vaccination unit, which is obviously huge this year. So tell us a little bit about that. IDF got an order to bring up a battalion which will help the clinics in Israel to vaccinate the whole uh, uh, whole of the citizens of Israel in a very short time. Wow. And the only organization who could do such a mission so fast and so quickly is really the IDF. All the battalion, from the commander down to the last medics, are all reserved and they volunteer to the mission. And my uh, job on, the, on that, uh, um, that squad was to take care of those medics so they will be um, the, most, the most helpful for the clinics. And your enthusiasm for the job is really shining yeah, through. I What's the best part of it? Like what, what makes you most happy about the job you've been given in this case? To help people is something that uh, is a core in our family. To help our country, to help the IDF, to help the citizens is something that makes me happy. Yeah, we're not getting along, very, uh, we're not uh, seeing each other very much because all of us, uh, Shachov's father and our son, Elad, but um, we're not seeing each other very much because all of us are volunteering. But That's you're seeing each other more than a lot of mother-daughter uh, Mother daughter is with a, a child in the army because you're now serving in the same place. So I want to ask you, Shachaf, how did you feel when you found out that your mother would be serving on the before, same base as you? Before even she got recruited, uh, we talked about it and we really laughed about it. I, I told her it would be so funny if you would be with me. <laughs> Hilarious. And it actually happened. Right. So first of all, I got really freaked out. I told her, Mom, don't come to me, don't say me, hi, don't, <laughs> I don't know you, you don't know me, okay? That's, that's the deal. But uh, after uh, I introduced her to my uh, friends and my uh, commanders, so everything went very, in a fun way, I guess. Um, she seems like a pretty cool mom. Like, yeah, it's, she it's, I'm a fun mom. Yeah, it's not a problem. <laughs> she is to some point, you know, she's still my mom. And Hagit, how do you feel serving so closely to your oh, daughter? That's a gift from, from heaven. Because finally I, I got the chance to see her uh, every day in the morning. I can be there for her when she needs me. And to see that she's well. I want to... If you don't mind, I ask you a serious question. I know you're a survivor of cancer, yeah. and I just want to ask if that influences how you see this whole situation any differently, the, the mother-daughter relationship or serving in the same place, or your job. Okay, so uh, um, I'll tell you, uh, Shachov uh, was recru recruited to the army uh, while I was uh, in chemotherapy. Uh, I wasn't feeling well uh, at all. Um, and I got a very special uh, permission to escort her to the uh, recruiting base on the first day of her at the army. Uh, and they helped me very much because I couldn't really walk. Uh, and I, I, I was so afraid that she won't be able to handle the life uh, in the army and the life in the base um, while With she the knows- the fact knowing that she's in the hospital and having bad times. But Shachaf uh, was so, uh, she had a resilience and she had a, a energy and she did everything she could uh, while the uh, 
while the treatments, uh, she, she got a vacation, special vacations, to be with me in, in the um, surgeries, uh, surgeries and... yeah, and to escort me to treatments. Uh, and on last December, I finished all the uh, chemo, bio, um, um, all cancer. the treatments, <laughs> and I was declared cancer free. And that was the uh, the date that um, uh, my commander called me, and she said. What do you say about coming back to the to reserved yeah. uh, duty? And I said, Yeah, of course, why not? And actually, I came back for the first time since I was uh, released from the army. I came back to the unit, and it it filled me with happiness and joy. I, I finally met met people. I literally came alive again. Wow. And. I'm now so strong and happy and ah, I, it, it's just uh, Kate br brought me alive. And we see it, it uh, <laughs> you're oozing enthusiasm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before we let you go, you know this past week in the US was Mother's Day and oh. uh, Shachaf, is there anything you would like to give or say to your mother <laughs> by any chance? I have a little surprise. <laughs> <laughs> we got you a flower bouquet. Because you're such a wonderful mother, Aww. and I'm happy to have you with me. Oh, I'm happy to have you with me. <laughs> you're gonna make us all cry. I'm crying already. <laughs> <laughs> I was. <laughs> Major Hagit Shachaf, mamash to daraba. Thank you so Thank much for you. joining us. What a oh. special interview. I feel like a lot of the people at home are gonna want to be adopted into your family after seeing this. So if you'd like more kids, just call FIDF. <laughs> we'll arrange. Of